Marco, I guess uh, two wins in a row, uh, back-to-back wins after uh, no wins in five. I guess confidence must be uh, quite high again with the boys right now. After wins, the the confidence is is, is much higher. Um, yeah, we we feel that we are on the right track, and now we have to perform again against a strong team from City. Um, the, the Wellington Phoenix win obviously was a very important game, uh, fourth versus fifth going into the game. Lots of positives to take out from that game. I guess the first half, the fact you, you scored three goals in 45 minutes of football. The second half, playing with 10 men and still hanging on for the victory, you, you must take a lot of positive uh, aspects out of, out of that, that game. Absolutely. I think it's only, not only, but yeah. More positive aspects as, as negatives. Uh, I think we played very, uh, yeah, very serious in the first half, and um, we scored after three chances, three goals. That means uh, we played very uh, effective. That's very important. The clean sheet was important in the first half. And I think in the second half also the, the defending was was not too bad. We had two big chances after counter-attacks to score the fourth goal. Um, but at the end, uh, the win was very important for us to, to be back. Uh, firstly, to, to stay always in the race for the, to reach the finals and to be back, it's up to the weekend now, to be back at, for fight for home final. Um, I think I'm right saying, I don't think you've beaten Melbourne City in, in the A-League in, in your two seasons in charge. Not in official games, only in a friendly <laughs> game. Yeah, that's right, that's why I said A-League. Yeah. Um, what makes them such a, a tough opponent and, and so tough to, to break down? For me, uh, it's, it's a very strong squad. They have a lot of options. They can set up uh, their first 11. They change a lot of their technical lineup each week, and um, I think they they are well organized uh, against the ball. It's very hard to to find spaces to um, create chances and to score goals against them. And on the other side, they have high quality in the offensive. That means they need one one and a half chance to to score a goal, and that makes that make. Uh, uh, City so so hard to play against them. Um, for me, it's a really good team. Um, but uh, you know me, and uh, if you start a game, it's always the aim to win, and uh, we want to win in uh, City. Yeah, as well. Um, you mentioned there, obviously, the fact that defensively they always City are very well organised and uh, very compact, hard to break down. Obviously, you'll be without AP, who is suspended. Um, obviously, Kenny also obviously suspended. Baba still injured. Um, in terms of attacking and, and scoring goals, without those players, how do you go about doing that? Look, that's uh, maybe the problem from the whole season. Yeah, that we will find always uh, a new uh, line up in the offense to to beat the opponent. I think we. I made in the past a good job that we always find a good solution and that will be the same now. I think we have quality players in the squad. Um, I'm, I'm very happy that, uh, that Benny is back. I'm happy that Blackwood is back from the early rules and now he's more in the rhythm. He, uh, I think the last weeks he was a little bit tired from the, from the traveling. Um, that, that is always hard for the boy, but now uh, this week he, he looks much better. Yeah. We have young boys, they wait for the chance and uh, it's also allowed and I'm very happy about uh, that uh, we scored a goal after set pieces. That means also the defense player can score a goal and yeah, um, we will have not so much chances uh, uh, tomorrow but uh, if we have a chance we must um, finish with a high quality and we still wait and work hard for the chance and I think two things are very important yeah to stay very compact that means to yeah to to stay compact that they have no chance to create a lot of chances and if you have a chance to to score a goal. You mentioned uh, Ben Halloran obviously um, he has come back from 
injury and had a, a good impact um, against the Phoenix. Also, uh, Nikola Muznich also back. Having those two guys both fit, hopefully, not just for the weekend, but for the last few games of the season, how big a difference does that make for your team? Very important. I think both players are special because they have a lot of speed and that makes uh, them so dangerous for the opponents. Um, now, for me as the coach, I must set up the best team for, for tomorrow, but also make some players they need fitness to make them fit for the next games. And yeah, it's always a, a little bit of a puzzle what is the best for a game, but also to uh, improve uh, players after a long injury. And then with uh, Haller and Maluznic, because they've both had injuries, you haven't had them both together for a lot of the season, kind of one's been fit, the other's been injured, mm -hmm. or the other way around. Do you think having them potentially on the field at the same time, creating problems for oppositions, it's a, it makes your team a very different uh, proposition, doesn't it? Absolutely, because the um, the high quality from both of them are, are, the, are, the, are, the, are the speed and um, the most uh, defense lines are not as fast as these both players. Yeah. Now Schenkenfeld it's a different level, he's for me um, maybe the fastest uh, center back in the league, he's very comfortable and he's a brilliant player, but you must defend um, the speed and it's always not too easy and uh, that is, was our strength in the past and um, maybe will be the strength in the future for our team. Marco, just um, could you provide us an injury update, Jordan Nelson, of the Wara, Ryan Strain, how the boys um, I start with Ryan Strain because he's, a li he's far away from team training but it looks good. He, he started to run mid midweek and it looks good but now we have to improve him uh, step by step um, each day with a higher higher intensity um, but it looks good that we will have a chance to get him uh, fit for, for for the last season again um, and very uh, positive is that uh, Baba and Elsie both player trained the whole week full with the team that means um, after a long long time um, uh, they had no reaction after these sessions and yeah they are on a good way that means um, still wait for the next se next week how, how the next se week runs uh, maybe one of them are uh, available for the squad for the next home game. Are you a little disappointed obviously for Ryan considering he played such a, such a good season getting towards the, the end of the season and towards finals to see him Suffer the, the hamstring injury. Was it disappointing? Do you think for him? For every player, he is injured. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed, but it's, it's part of the job that you have, uh, that you have to handle um, uh, injuries. And uh, but uh, I expected uh, that um, um, he, um, he have no chance to come back. But now it looks that we have a little chance to get him fit. And that means he, it was not a long period he, 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 he uh, uh, would be out, out of the trainings. And maybe uh, we have him fit also for, for the last game, if we reach the finals, for the finals as well. And obviously you said Jordan Nelson is back into to full training, but Michael Moroni has done a fantastic job in the centre-back, obviously popped up with a goal uh, last mm -hmm. week. Is it good, despite maybe only having on paper two centre-backs, having Michael doing so well and Jordan getting back to fitness and, and pushing him so there's more co competition for, for centre-back? Exactly. Uh, it's very important because uh, we have not really much um, subs for the back four line. Uh, you must always cross the fingers for a game um, that nothing uh, is happened in the game with the back four line. Um, it's good to know him back. I think we have a realistic chance for Elsie that he, he will be the part of the squad for, for the last games. Um, but Mickey did a great job. Yeah, Mickey is a fantastic uh, character. He's a fantastic boy. Um, he's an old boy, but always uh, 
listening, always improving, um, always open to learn and to improve. And I, I think he, he did it in a complete different position as his nature is. And uh, I think the strength for Miki is his professionality. He's, a, he's maybe the, the professionalist player in our squad. And that is very helpful. He, I'm now the second year here and Miki wasn't injured. And that's yeah, good to see for the young boys to spend more time for recovery, spend more time for training. And that means you can play a long time in the A-League. Speaking of a long time for Michael, he's obviously getting on, but moving into the centre of the park as a centre back, do you see that potentially as something that Michael can do for his career so he can play even longer? At the moment his fitness is good enough to play the fullback position, that means he can run up and down a lot of time. I think he can do this uh, uh, more than one season. But it's good to have this kind of player in your squad. That um, um, in in uh, here the rules are a little bit different. I can only set up four players as subs. That means maybe it's good to have a player in the squad. He can play two two positions. Yeah, that makes more sense. And then it's more flexible, and that then the player is more interest interesting for for a coach. But it's. Uh, um, for the future, and I cross the fingers for Mickey. Um, uh, Marco, obviously three games to go. Um, after, uh, as we said, a, a period where the team was struggling to win and struggling to score goals, you now have some confidence. Do you feel the team can maybe peak, maybe find its best form of the season in, in these last three games, heading into the finals? I think we had a very good form in, uh, uh, in the season, and if we find back, it's always difficult to play against us and we can beat every team and we will find back to this uh, performance step by step. I think we did uh, a lot of good things in the last game but also we have to uh, do much things better. Uh, and if we find the way back, um, I'm still positive that we can play uh, good last games. Uh, but at the end to speak about the finals is not really serious. I, we have to reach them and we need points. Nobody knows what happens on, on Sunday and for me it's always good that we that it's better we make our homework. That means let us uh, make a good game. Maybe we can pick up some points there then the, the other teams can do whatever they want. They have no chance and that's our goal for tomorrow. Um, and obviously you said you don't want to talk about finals, but I've one more question about it. Yeah. Um, obviously the fact that you, you are leaving at the end of the season, how much more special would it be for you as your, your farewell as Adelaide United coach to not only coach the team in the finals, but to do it here at a packed Heimarsh Stadium in front of your own fans? I think we had a fantastic experience with the FFA Cup final and everybody wants to have another uh, um, knockout game uh, again um, at home. But we must do a, a brilliant job in the last three games against very hard um, and strong opponents. Um, yeah, I first I uh, my, my aim is to, to to reach the finals, to do a good job, and also I see me. If as a worker for the club and for the for the whole city, that means if we have the chance to uh, give our fantastic uh, supporters and also the city a home game, we will do our best uh, to to reach this this big goal. And um, yeah, but I think it's more serious to speak uh, after the next game. Um, I think if we get a good result. We have the chance if we lost, um, it's very hard. Uh, if we lose, it's very hard to reach it. But, yeah, ask me on Monday. I can give you a better answer.